morning guys and welcome back to the Harrison Adventures. Today for us is pre-travel day, which is usually dead exciting, but this morning as you can see we are off up and about because we are going for our pre-travel day COVID tests. So as it stands, it is the end of May, it's the 30th of May and the USA still haven't dropped our travel testing yet which means one of the entry requirements from the UK is that we still have to have a negative COVID test alongside having our vaccinations. So don't get me wrong, it's not like it's a huge issue. We're off to Dam Health this morning in Berry. Um, Danny's mum and dad have used them before and they had really good results there. They said the staff were really friendly and the test was really easy. But at the same time, it just puts that little bit of a downer on the holiday because you just can't get fully excited about going yet because you just you just don't know you know fingers crossed we've all tested for the past few days we're all negative but at the same time it's just that worry isn't it you just never know so we're off here now my mum and dad are following in the car behind us and they have our Alfie in there with them because Alfie's very used to going to Berry whereas they are not quite sure so we're trusting a 12 year old to direct them hopefully it won't be too bad oh my god the weather today though is absolutely miserable so fingers crossed we'll be off to sunny florida tomorrow although knowing our luck it'll be raining when we get there as well yeah. <laughs> so yeah fingers crossed and we'll let you know how all the testing goes too long to be fair but then luckily it is at like 11 o'clock so we miss that like morning rush hour traffic gotta say it's been one of the quietest car journeys we've done in a while i think everyone's kind of just ready to get tested and get it over and done with so fingers crossed wish us luck and we'll let you know how we get on hi everyone so we are back so first and foremost please just ignore my hair just had it pinned up for tomorrow ready for travel day because we are all negative and Ooh. super excited ready to go yay I, I know i know you said you weren't stressed this morning but i can absolutely tell you where we have never had such a quiet car journey ever so damn hell really great very friendly it was nice and quick it was easy the results were back in about 30 minutes to 45 minutes like it really didn't take that long at all um we got there early for our appointment we were about half an hour early um because we didn't know what the traffic was going to be like and they still got us in really quick so yeah it was it was fantastic and we would recommend them the tests cost 22 pound 50 i think each so i'd say it's kind of like a mid-price range for the testing that everyone's doing i think randox health was a lot more expensive but then some of the online ones where if you do it yourself and have it supervised are a bit cheaper but it was easy because there was five of us we were going with my parents and they're not very techy so it was just easier to go and do it in person and get that all done and sorted so now we are on our way back the weather is still horrendous but i've had my hair and my nails done so i'm feeling loads better um now we are gonna go put our beautiful rabbits in their little rabbit hotel for a couple of weeks we gotta make sure they're still looked after um and then it's the rest of pre-travel day packing yeah, yeah. and then ready to go in the morning Woohoo! so not looking forward to the airport though in the morning i've seen lots of stuff online about queues in manchester airport especially with tui i think but luckily we're flying with virgin so i'm really really praying that theirs is going a lot smoother and we won't That's be stuck easier. in a queue we've got fast pass through security as well so hopefully that will be covered time down and the waiting i know and we have booked the escape lounge escape. is it we've got the escape lounge booked for some breakfast if we make it through fingers crossed if we do so yeah so we're heading home now we're going to Sort the beautiful rabbits out in the rain. Let's see if they want to enjoy their travel case for only for like 20 minutes, so they're not in it for too long. Oh, like absolutely gutted. We're going to be dropping them off. This makes me really sad. But yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Oh, here we 
go. Not working properly. Uh, there's no internet, no Wi-Fi. Can't be a camera. No. Tail cam. Tail cam's not working. The map's not working. Some of the films aren't working. So, yeah, my dad's screen's flashing on and off. Not doing really well. So, you know, luckily we have company. We're halfway there now. Four hours remaining. <laughs> The countdown is on, and we made the absolute rookie error of not bringing anything other than technology, thinking it's fine, we can use everything on the plane, there'll be Wi Fi, there's things to do, and there's nothing to do. Didn't even bring a deck of cards, like, what a rookie mistake. We'll definitely learn from this for next time. <laughs> but yeah, the food wasn't horrendous, it was alright. So it was nice, you know, we were well fed, had loads of drinks. Then she went to the TV on and off. Yeah, my dad's trying to back with the technology, which is never a good idea. But, yeah, carry on. What have we got to go? Three and a half hours? Let's have a look. It's three hours, 45 minutes. I would show you a bit better, but the screen's having a meltdown. See you there. Snacks. Review of the snacks. They're all right, actually. They're quite nice. They're like salty Maltesers. Salty Maltesers. I know that sounds awful, but they're actually quite good. Let's try them. You want these extra 44 pounds? Which would be even less calories because you keep giving them. No. <laughs> salty not so fast. They're not nice. I am not a fan of inside in indie bay snacks with dark chocolate pretzel bites. Too salty. Vegan friendly as well. Not me. So Danny's been sat in the window seat for about half an hour and he's getting very warm on that side. So he's trying to tan his left arm. Well his left hand. Because when you golf, mm -hmm. you wear a golf glove on your what hand? hand. Right hand. On my watch, there. Uh, uh, the colour difference. You can see it on the camera. <laughs> you can see it on the camera. Your right hand is way more tanned than that hand. Yeah. And you can see it, your watch tan there as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, the colour difference between the two. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I've got no fake tan on, so I'm very, very pale. Neither do I. You're lucky though, you tan tan. I naturally drink. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you tan on a plane, we do. <laughs> Like, I'm naturally ginger, I'm very pale. I don't tan easily. Or at all. <laughs> we'll find out. See how red we come back from Florida. Two hours, 43 remaining. Yeah, the time is going quite slowly. Without anything to do with technology working. However, we're nearly there now. We're over America, we think. Hopefully, they'll be around with afternoon 
tea soon. So, tea and scones, afternoon tea is just arriving. We've sent out 